just go whenever. Be cut later. Yeah, we'll put it. What up, it's Diego and Cruz kicking it inside Inkton Chattered, Knoxville, Tennessee. We are officially inside you. Can you feel it? Are you excited for this? I can feel it. It's I've been warm. waiting. On, it's very warm. It doesn't have anything to do with it being in the middle of May because we just had snow last week, it felt like. And now we're back home in Knoxville and it's 110 degrees. I'm not bitching. I don't like humidity from the West Coast. We don't do humidity. We do heat. We don't do humidity. That's right. Fuck yeah. this shit. Enough about us. We have very special guests in the house tonight. Summoner's Circle, Knoxville's own. What up, gentlemen? Greetings. Hey, how's, everybody? Good. how's everybody doing this evening? Feeling good? Yeah. Very good. Big, big, big show tonight at the concourse. Uh, man, this is it. This is this is kind of the, the re-emergence, so to speak, the, the, the reckoning. Tell us, for those that don't know, let them know. This is our, uh, this is our album release show for our new label release uh, entitled Become None. Um, we just came off of a tour with Children of Bodom, Swallow the Sun, and Wolfheart. And here we are back in our home turf. And they're rolling out the red carpet for us and allowing us to put on our CD release show here. <laughs> Have a good time with it. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, album was released through Pavement Entertainment. It dropped on May 17th. Uh, it's been doing really well. First week of radio. Uh, we charted on some of the metal charts, so that's really cool, up to 15 and 1. And I also saw today we charted, we charted on Napster and, and uh, Rhapsody 2 for metal, so. Well, nice. We exactly. tied with Ramstein too, on yeah. one of those charts. Oh, I'm with the man. I did see that, yeah, yeah. I think we posted that, like, yeah, we, we that, shared the shit out of that. That's awesome. So, that's yeah. awesome. Thank you, by the way. Oh, hey, thank you guys. Thank you guys for this. Like, this is, it, it, was, it was pretty awesome to see that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow, look at that. Right, right, right. Hell so, yeah. uh, you know, we definitely love the support of our fans out there. Uh, so you acolytes keep doing what you're doing and uh, calling your radio stations, calling to play Summoner Circle, and uh, let's uh, let's let's stay present in people's faces. In the presence. <laughs> you want to see us in your town? Call up your local radio stations and ask for Summoner Circle. That's, That's right. The best way to get us out there. Oh, yeah. So yeah, because if we see that we're looking at the numbers and we see that we're getting a lot of radio plays in a particular market, we're going to go there. So. As, as you should. That. Right. Awesome. People, people want it. Might as well give it to them, right? Absolutely. So, new album. Let's talk new album. Become none. Uh, if just, just a little taste. Just give us a little taste. Comparisons. Uh, let's see. Just what's it about? What should people expect? Yeah. From the album. Become none is a. Uh, it's a whole bunch of short, contained, independent horror stories what it is with the exception of the title track become done that one is an anthem for the band for our fans for people to come out and join us become done transcend don't be an acolyte become done get dressed up with us look like a fool we do join us that's awesome we we actually know a lot about looking like fools if, if anybody's ever seen our videos it's <laughs> Pretty much, that's how that's how we live our lives uh, day by day. So, uh, online videos. I know you guys have a, a big, 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 big following. Uh, like I said before, one of the best produced music videos I've ever seen in the history of my 28 years, huh? 28 years of existence. Ah, come on, come on. 28 <laughs> years of existence. Uh, so, tell us a little bit about that video because I know I, I just I can't get enough of it. It was a lot of work, but it was a lot of a lot of fun work. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. It was, uh, Shot and directed by Thomas, if I'm going to say his name, Mortfight, right, Mortfight, um, from Norway. And uh, if you've seen the video, you know there's a story on obviously with performance shots and uh, rich moves. Right. So, it, it, it definitely it's, 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 it's it, I say music video, and that's doing it no justice. It's it is a it's a short fucking film. Yeah, that's it's a what, short yeah, film. That's absolutely what we set out to do. Yeah. And uh, you know, we were talking with our producer. Uh, Yannick Bercier, who actually he was the recording engineer for the album, and uh, he found uh, Thomas for us, and uh, you know he came over to the states, and uh, and we filmed it in two days, yep. and uh, you know, for, it was a lot of work because it's what 11 and a half minutes, I think it is somewhere yeah, around it's there. It's a it's a long song. So uh, and you know we made it even longer with the story, but uh, man, I it was it was it was like Absalon said, it was a lot of fun, uh, a lot of work. Uh, it's definitely worth it. And the portion of that video was actually shot here at the concourse. Really? That's right, down, down in the basement. That. 
As a matter of fact, there's still blood splatters down there yeah. where we uh, did our awesome. ritual. There may so. even still be a circle. Oh, right. Right. <laughs> the circle is still there. Yeah. It was wild, man. And, you know, um, that was my first time being in uh, a, a music video shoot. At, uh, and so I knew it was going to be killer when it came back and we got to see even rough drafts, but I was still blown away like even at the rough drafts before uh, you'll have to forgive my ignorance I don't know all the terminology for film production but these two guys do but before anything was dropped on it seeing raw shots I was like holy shit it was really fantastic even just to see it in that form so when it was done man it blew, it blew me the hell away <laughs> yeah I mean we hit it off with Thomas pretty quickly and I think he understood the vibe we were going for and uh, he was able to provide some suggestions as well I think is pretty much it's, 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 it's really neat when you're working with another artist and they get what it is you're trying to do so it was just damn so we're definitely going to keep working with them right oh yeah you know, if it's a good thing why it's not broken don't fix it absolutely right? it's exactly. awesome they were very enthusiastic about it too Thomas and Lori and well I think everybody yeah. involved was pretty enthusiastic about it that always helps if you love what you're doing you know what I mean right and they love the, they, they love the song too so again yeah, that helps absolutely. so yeah, yeah so I, I guess most importantly that you guys you guys are a six piece. You don't, you know, you don't see that. You see that, I guess, a lot, but not a lot re relevance. You know, it's right. it's, a, yeah. it's a visual six piece that just continuously goes, goes, goes. So I mean, this is uh, introduce you guys, because I know there's a great story behind everything. Oh yeah, absolutely. Well, uh, Hex over here on keyboards. Uh, I hold down the noise in between all of their bullshit. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> He's pretty good at it. He's very good at it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, drum, um, currently filling so in nice. uh, for tour, for the tours uh, on drums. Drum, yeah. drums, get it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, we'll just we'll just wait a second. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Sorry, guys. That's all right. I'm Absalon. Uh, I handle rhythm guitar duties and yeah, hold down the riff. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. And uh, I'm E-Talk, I play the bass guitar, and I do some backup vocals. Um, are we talking just our roles in the band? Are we talking about outside? We're not going to talk or... about your drawings. All right, we're going to talk about your drawings. <laughs> we're just going to talk about We're, we're a band of, band of many talents. Anyways. <laughs> if you call show me your arm. arm. Yeah. <laughs> I can show you my arm. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the other one. Wow, well, they're matched. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, just it's a matching <laughs> pair. Do not ask to see his etchings. Yeah, I've, I've heard about your it. I've heard about your cave dwellings. I mean, oh, okay. yeah. honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm a little I'm a little intrigued. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's oh, you will you will die, dude. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm still getting shit for it. Yeah, yeah. it's never gonna go away. <laughs> never. And uh, I'm blind. Uh, lead vocals, lyrics, and incantations. And I'm Gog. Uh, lead guitar. Oh yeah. Yeah. So on top of all your online videos and anywhere that anybody can reach you as far as like video goes or just social media, like where, where's the music, where can we find the tunes right now? Uh, everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah, I mean, okay. uh, Spotify, it's on Apple Music, iTunes, Google Play, I mean pretty much any Target. Yeah, Target Ooh, has a Target. Yeah. But pretty much any purveyor of what, you know, a digital media is going to have, uh, yeah. have digitally and uh, you can also record stores are carrying it as well. And if you're a local record store, for those of, it uh, those of us that still like to go to record stores, you yeah. know, make sure to hit them up and make sure they've got some copies as well. Absolutely. Absolutely. So it's uh, the show tonight, the concourse in Knoxville. You got some upcoming shows too? What's, yeah, what is, what's the future holds? We're on DC, June 8th. Uh, At Atlas Brew Works. Atlas, Brew. Atlas Brew Works. Uh, July 31st. Am I going right here, guys, at the Gathering? Yeah. yeah gathering the Juggalos. Gathering the Juggalos. Gathering the Juggalos. Gathering the Juggalos. Yeah. Super, 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 super gathering, super, yeah. super yeah. gathering. Yeah. Then uh, September seventh, that hasn't changed, right? Uh, we will be at Full Terror Assault. Yeah. We, we are playing on the Thursday, uh, yeah. Full Terror Assault. I believe that's the day Cataclysm is headlining, so that's going to be a lot of fun. That's awesome. That's awesome. Main yeah. stage. So yeah, we just got the full lineup this week. I think they announced it. It's that, it's going to kick ass. It's a killer yeah. lineup. Yeah, it's an amazing lineup. Yeah. So with with that being said, talking about uh, shows and stuff, what's your what's your all time favorites? Where to play? Like, what, any favorites in the house? Like, 
Man, we love New York City. Yeah, New York was great. Pitts, we love, Pittsburgh. We love Pittsburgh. Yeah, we, yeah, we love Boston. Yeah. Uh, Boston was oh, yeah. my personal favorite uh, from that Children of Bodom tour. By far, was Montreal. Yep. Uh, those guys turned up. Throw yeah. down. The, the, the it was Canada. Canada. Well, it was a sold out show yeah, that yeah. night, in Montreal, and they were fanatical about it. It was awesome. awesome. Yeah. That's we great. got a lot of love off that from that tour. Just people coming into uh, and they're like, ah, I never heard of you guys or. Uh, didn't know you were playing tonight, you know, and, you know, being the opener, opener and all. And, uh, there was even some times where we got calls for Encore, obviously being the opener, we couldn't oblige, but... <laughs> it was nice but to get. It, it yeah. felt really It was tempting. Yeah. <laughs> I think Baltimore was one of the places we got that, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. It was. Yeah. Yeah. Toronto. Yeah, yeah, it happened in Toronto, too. Yeah, uh, I, I got to say that the fans in Canada love their metal. Yeah. And, oh, uh, yeah. They, they turn out. Yeah. And, uh, I don't know. I mean, sometimes I think people in the states get a little jaded, you know. And it didn't seem didn't seem so much that way up there. Right. And uh, you know, hopefully uh, people will prove me wrong. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. There more were, people will come out. Right. There were guys at the very first night in uh, Quebec City when I looked out there and we were playing, I think Balrog General or something, the second song of the set, and they were singing the words of the song. And I was like, we've never been to Canada. What are these guys doing? I was like, they were there. They had been listening to music. That's what not only that, but it was a, you know, primarily French-speaking uh, part of the country, and here they were singing along to our material. And while I couldn't see them doing it, obviously, <laughs> uh, we told I was, about I was told about it later, and it uh, it slightly thawed my black and frozen heart. Nice. <laughs> Take a quick commercial just for a second. Okay. Just to kind of get caught up. Uh, anything else that I'm missing? I feel like I'm miss- I don't want to miss anything for you guys whatsoever. Right? Social media platforms. Yeah, if you want to just. Do everything that you're like, on. If you have a Twitter. And we're actually. Plug the other guys we're playing with tonight? Yeah, we can do that too. Yeah. What's that? Plug the other guys we're playing with tonight. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Sure. Yeah, we definitely need to do okay. that. Okay. Okay. Uh, um, the new, uh, maybe we can mention the Warm Tunnel video. Have you guys yeah. seen the Warm Tunnel video? I have not. That's oh, yeah, it's, a, it's a video we uh, was put together by actually one of our crew guys, uh, Dave. Yeah. And uh, he, he kind of surprised us with it. He was taking a little video every night and put together, assembled a bunch of live shots and put it to the live recording of Warm Tunnel. Okay. Yeah, and, uh, that's it's, awesome. Uh, it's, it's, it turned out really well. Think, is that going to be, a, you get going to use that? That's oh, cool. it's already yeah, it's 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 on YouTube right oh, now. Yeah. Uh, you can subscribe to our channel that we can stay dialed into what stuff we got coming yeah. out. We may have other things coming out this summer. It's kind of some stuff we just did to spur the moment. We're like, well, that kicks ass. Let's just let's put that out there. Right. And so we co- cover all that yeah. like after a break. Yeah, when once we once we do rejoin or whatever, okay. and I'll be like, so I, I hear rumor there's like a little concept video, yeah. like and then just lead in. Okay. You know, I'll let you guys okay. lead in. Cool. So. Ready to roll? Mm-hmm. Yep, yeah, awesome. Welcome back to Inkton Chattered. It's Diego and Cruz kicking it inside, not the asylum tonight, but we're in the concourse in Knoxville, Tennessee, uh, with Envy Clothing, of course, always on hand. Uh, always good times. Sarah's in the house. Uh, as you see here to my right, Summoner Circle, Knoxville Zone. We've got a big show tonight at the concourse. It's the uh, album release party, so to speak, and I use the term party. Not lightly, because I have a feeling that we may not walk away from this one. This might be the one that gets us. Yeah. Uh, but you know what? Fuck it. Right? It's all right. What, yeah. what, what better do we have to do than party with these guys? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So I hear rumor that on top of everything you, yeah, like everything you guys got going on, there's also a little, it's like a concept video floating around YouTube, which, <coughs> true, false? Like, tell, tell, me about, tell me about this video that... Uh, we put together absolutely true it is a uh, a live performance video uh, with footage that was taken on the children of Bodom tour the hex north american tour by uh, one of our crew members he just shot periodically uh, the majority of our sets on that tour and surprised us with a, a live performance video of uh, warm tunnel we call him super dave yeah. super yeah. super dave yeah. it, nice. it, it, it was pretty cool too because he actually got uh, a little bit of behind the scenes stuff, like during sound check mm-hmm. without the makeup on, and you know, just us kind of going through the things that we do before the show. Yeah. So, you know, if you're curious, you can see me standing there doing this. Right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's better than standing there doing this. <laughs> uh, maybe for everybody, but not for me. Right? <laughs> 
So, uh, and also on top of that, social media platforms, everybody's got them. Unfortunately, we, we, we have to. We have to be on yeah. that. Whew, it's, and it's a lot of work. So yeah, it's a lot of work. It, it, it is. Too, it's, so. it's taxing. Like, every day, I, I bet you this guy, I look up. Like, so I, I'm not 28. I, I'll go ahead and let the cat out of the bag. I'm 36. So it's like, I remember the time where, like, social wasn't a big thing. MySpace is still kind of a big thing to me, even though it's not a lot, it's not around anymore. So he busts my ass about that all the time. But it's a lot of work. Like, so how do you guys balance like writing and, and, and shows and everyday life and then social media too? Like, just to, from you know one person that has to do it every day to another, just to keep just to keep it up and up. We communicate on a daily basis yep. through chat or in person because we rehearse and such. So of course we're together on a regular basis as well, but. We communicate like, hey, uh, you want to handle this? You know, do you want to handle that? And we're always like everybody. Everybody you see right here is always working on something for for this band. That's awesome. You know, we're That's always as we we love doing it. And so, yeah. So, a couple of people might carry you know one thing. A couple other people might carry another, and so forth and so on. You know what I mean? But, yeah. And that's how we kind of do it. You know. You put it all on one person. Somebody's gonna flip out. <laughs> yeah, somebody, somebody's gonna break loose. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, what platforms? Uh, all of them. If, if so, give us the um, handles where you can find it. I'm pretty active on Instagram. Um, Sumner, I have my own page, but Sumner Circle does. So we do a lot of that. Um, Facebook, of course. Facebook, Facebook of course. Twitter. Um, yeah, you you've done a little bit of Twitter. Yeah. YouTube. Twitter's weird, but I handle the Twitter. Yeah, I yeah. Feel so you. if it looks yep. funky, you know, it's I me. I would do it, but I can't. <laughs> <run it. laughs> so. I would do it, but um, I, I can't put I can't put that many lyrics into what was it like two hundred and forty characters something yeah. like that. Yeah, that's, I, that's I think I'm doing just, okay with it. I'm not sure, but if, <laughs> not I'm only open that to some feedback. There you go. <laughs> hey, you want to get feedback? Follow us on Twitter and give him. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's it. Yeah, yeah, that. I have a, uh, a heavy criticism for uh, Twitter. They need to you know have a braille keypad for me. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> yep. I'm just trying to tap 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 on a screen. You get on to <laughs> Apple. We have to get on to Apple about that. If Elon Musk can maybe get something going. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's absolutely. Right. <laughs> get me a Braille screen. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> right now we've got like, is it like YouTube, a spider yeah, on the YouTube, YouTube and, and that's where you can see that, the video, uh, the live video we were talking about. Right. Uh, it's, um, right. it's not a spider monkey. Not exactly sure. And we also have our own website that's kind of like maybe a cat. Uh, the website's a good starting point. You can get to everywhere else that we're available from our website. Right. That's www.summonersurcle.com. Yeah, the videos on there. I don't think the worm tunnel videos on there, but that's on our YouTube. Or the, yeah, you can get to our YouTube, our YouTube channel. channel. There. Yeah, nice. nice. So there's like, uh, yeah, there's there's uh, you know everything you need on the website, but there's also uh, the story to our characters on there as well. Very so nice. If you're into that kind of thing. Yeah, yes, yeah, the story, the story behind the story. That's right. Yeah, I like it. I like it. So, inspirations. Like everybody grew up liking something, you know what I'm saying? So it just one by one or all at once, I really don't care. Inspiration. What was everybody's inspiration? Well, we'll, we'll, we'll let heck start day. over there. Yeah. Oh, man. Well, if I have to pick something that's as far from this band as possible, <laughs> I would pick <laughs> David Gilmore for the way that he always finds the right note. But now, for this stuff, I have to listen to things like Jimmy Moore here and anything where it's got balls, but there's something interesting to keep you listening past that and not just feeling it, but also to engage your head a little bit, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. We're, We're naked. naked. My dick's out. <laughs> All right, that shit's enough. Yeah. Whoa, <laughs> set off alarm. Yeah. <laughs> That's the thing reminding me I'm supposed to work out. <laughs> You're about to work out. Yeah, I got to rock out. That's, That's right. right. That's right. Yeah. So for me, I kind of come from a little bit uh, more technical of a background as far as metal is. Um, yeah. I appreciate like more technical metal, um, but probably my main influence is uh, the Black Dahlia Murder. Like both drum, like both the most uh, recent drummers from that band have really influenced my playing uh, and my writing style. So I mean that's been probably my main focus but I mean I don't draw the line there obviously you know I, I, I branch out into other types of music as well but oh, yeah. that's my main focus I'd say. Oh, yeah. That's as I'm sure you can imagine a loaded question. Uh, a <laughs> good one nevertheless. <laughs> uh, I go all over the place I mean I start from like blues to rock and roll to like a lot of in the heavy realm 
of metal. I like a lot of different kinds of metal. Uh, Doom stuff is probably my favorite kind of stuff, but I like uh, a lot of different stuff, you know. Um, but I've been, I was inspired, I think, mostly by blues guys, really. But oh, yeah, like, which which is sneaky because there's a lot. There's like that's a very good answer. A lot of people lead off with blues. Like you oh, don't yeah. think about it. Like you don't yeah. think about it too. Fucking sit and think about it. You're like, oh yeah, whoa well, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, my main influences. There's a ton of them too. It's just it's a hard, yeah, hard thing to answer with one band. First band that comes to my mind is uh, Rage Against the Machine, just for the pure energy of the band and just the whole thing that that band does musically on stage is so powerful. And then bands like In Flames. I actually like old In Flames. I'm really into what they do. Um, Marilyn Manson, and there could be a whole list, Clutch, et cetera, et cetera. Oh, yeah. You know, so. uh, as a vocalist, um, and a vocalist that never really clicked with the American heavy metal style of vocals, I always uh, gravitated more towards the, the Gothenburg sound, Scandinavian sound, so bands like Dark Tranquility, In Flames. Um, but in particular, just that Scandinavian style, like Demi Borgir, uh, Immortal, Opeth, uh, really just kind of fine-tune the, the style that I do. And, uh, lyrically, I draw a lot of inspiration, not from any other genre of music, but uh, a lot just through horror movies, horror books. Uh, the writings of H.P. Lovecraft have uh, been very influential in that department. But really, just about anything uh, I can find it in from a, a movie to a video game. Uh, just something to click. It's like, oh, I can turn that into something weird. Like, yeah, that's awesome. Uh, let's see. For me, a lot like Absalon, it's all over the place. Uh, yeah. David Gilmore, love David Gilmore. Hendrix, you know, I own me from Sabbath. Kind of anything metal sort of begins with Sabbath and ends with Sabbath in my book. You know, um, he was the Riffmeister man. Still is. Uh, <laughs> You know, uh, to some rock and roll stuff. I love Michael Shanker, old UFO, mm -hmm. uh, you know, Opeth, uh, Porcupine Tree, um, Behemoth. Absolutely love Behemoth. So I'm kind of, you know, all, all over the place right. in terms of that. And a lot like Blind said, you know, just a lot of literature, you know, Tolkien and Lovecraft and just you know, any, any kind of sci fi or fantasy. Nice. It's certainly all over. It really shows the range. Like it's like for oh, yeah. like you know like it, it it would throw you off unless you know which we kind of knew coming in. You know, that, but just it's all over the board, which makes it so fucking amazing. And uh, gosh, I don't know what else to say because like, we cannot wait for tonight. It's gonna be an amazing show. Uh, hopefully, if you don't have your tickets, you're about to be getting your tickets. Uh, Sumner Circle, Knoxville Zone. We are at the concourse tonight for the new album, Become None. Gentlemen, thank you so much for your thank time. You thank you very much. It's been so awesome. And I'm sure we're going to do this again. There's no oh, yeah. way that this doesn't happen. Anytime. Oh. Anytime. Right. Uh, also tonight, don't forget, Absent from the Body is here and War Climber. Yeah, so two uh, two really, really good, uh, really good bands. Yes. Knoxville bands. Yes. Really good friends of ours. Great people. Amazing Absolutely. musicians. And they're going to tear it up. Yeah, yeah. There's yeah. some ass kickings to be had here tonight. So. Looking forward to it. Plus, Plus, our stupid asses are going to be on the stage too, so they'll, they'll be, oh God, there'll be something. Anybody that's followed us knows that they can any any time could be good or bad. So thank you guys once again. Thank All you right, guys. Thank, thank you, you guys for joining us. Inked and chattered. Until next time, Diego and Cruz. See you later. Now I got to see who keeps calling me like four times. Chris 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 yeah, I'm Joey. I've had someone blowing me hey, up man. as well. That's killer, man. Oh, hey, man. You you it's all you guys. It it's just all... felt like just a regular conversation. Okay. So that's, uh, that's what we're going to do.